Hey, what's going on guys? The Broken Machine here. Today we're going to be looking at some of the top mistakes players make on Battlefield 1 and how to avoid them. At number 10 on my list is not spotting. Spotting highlights your enemies on the screen for you and your teammates. You can do this by pressing R1 on PS4, right bumper on Xbox and Q on PC. Spotted enemies will show up on the minimap and a large icon will appear over the heads, making them very easy targets for you and your teammates to take out. A good tip is to spot the enemies outside of your weapon's intended range, let your teammates go for them or deal with them later. Spotting can be a little flaky in places, so make sure you're aiming down sight on your targets before you press the spot button. Another good tip is to predict when you've been spotted. If you're getting shot from someone at medium to longer ranges, chances are you've been spotted too. Highly recommend taking cover before you pop your head out again, otherwise you may get killed very quickly like I did here by a subscriber. Mistakes were definitely made here. Number 9 on my list is staying in the same spot. Of course it can be very tempting to stay in one spot, especially especially if you're in a power position that allows you to dominate your enemies and easily control the map. But beware, the longer you stay in one place, the higher the chances are of you getting killed. All it takes is a grenade, a tank blasting the building you're in, or a sniper peeking from a real tight angle and dinking your head from afar. Your best bet is to get a few kills, patrol around the area and come back later if necessary. Trying to be unpredictable in your playstyle is always a good way to go. Number 8. Rushing forward too much. Rushing is no doubt very addictive. People certainly love watching gameplay of it, but it can be difficult and will get you easily killed. If you are going to rush, make sure you're doing it intelligently. Try to move from area to area, building to building, and avoid pushing forward too much. You should try to be zigzagging around the map as much as possible. One of the best ways to play a little bit more aggressively, and also just in general, is to try and tease your enemies into making mistakes. Here for example on Argon Forest, I wanted to push up to Bravo, but the enemies had a hold of this area. So instead of rushing in, I push out just a little, get one kill, fall back slightly, push again, rinse and repeat, and you got yourself one of the best ways to play this game. Remember, never interrupt your enemy when they are making a mistake. Getting your enemies to make those mistakes is one of the best ways to play any FPS game, trust me. Number 7. Firing immediately. If your enemies are not aware of your presence, often it's a good idea not to fire immediately. Take this clip here. We've taken Charlie flag, pushed past it, enemies are making their way to the flag, I let a few pass and get myself in a good position before taking any shots. Me and the team are now attacking the enemies from multiple angles, making it incredibly difficult for them to survive and push the objective. A few more kills later, we've wiped out a couple of their squads and we pushed off with E. Simple, but very effective. So try to think before you fire. Number 6. Pushing enemy spawns. There is no doubt that spawn trapping is a very effective technique, but you do have to be very careful not to push too far. Otherwise, you may just get yourself easily killed and lose your position on the map. In Conquest, that might not matter so much, but in Rush, losing those extra reinforcement tickets could cost you the game. So be careful. Don't push the enemy spawns unless necessary. Number 5. Not capping flags in order. Let's say you have apples and charlie flag. Do you go to butter or duff next? Whichever you decide could have a huge impact on the rest of the game. By capturing the flags in order, you keep your teammates much closer together and thus a much stronger unit, which is very much what you need when playing with randoms. They can be very unpredictable. You don't really know how good they are. One minute they're absolutely smashing it and then the next they are so bad and you just question whether they've actually ever played an FPS before. If you do decide to go to Duff, you split the team up and allow enemies to spawn from butter and attack you from behind and making the game much harder for you and your teammates. Of course, flanking all the way across the map and capturing Freddy instead of Duff may be a wise choice sometimes, especially if your team is struggling, but often capturing the flags in order will provide you with a much stronger team overall. So, think before you make a move to the next flag, no need to be making the game any harder for yourself. Number 4. Not keeping an eye out for vehicles. Vehicles in Battlefield, especially the tanks, can be a huge nuisance. They may not be the most effective directly on the objectives, but they sure can do some serious damage from afar. So you want to be always checking your surroundings for them and try to predict where they may go or what flag they may try to defend next and take them out ASAP. If you're on PS4, 
press the touchpad to bring up a large map and see if the vehicles have been spotted. Make sure you do this often. Once every, I don't know, 20 seconds is probably more than enough. Up to you, see what works. Number three, Rambo reviving. A revive is always appreciated, but don't be the fool who runs straight to revive without checking their surroundings first. There is always time to revive, so be patient. Look for the enemy first, then revive. Rushing out will often get you killed, resulting in less of the team pushing the objective. So think, then revive. Often, you'll be much better if you just take a moment, see what's going on, maybe get another kill, and then revive. Number two, not playing with a squad. If you know me, I enjoy playing solo, on the mic at least. It chills me out, and I enjoy the challenge, but I always make sure to join a squad if possible. Safety in numbers, people. Again, don't make the game any harder. Oh, and also, try to see what classes your squad's mates have before spawning in and try to mix it up. There's no need for five medics on a map where vehicles dominate. An extra assault with anti-tank grenades would be a much wiser choice. And lastly, number one, constantly moving while shooting. It's always tempting to move when shooting, especially when you need to dodge some bullets. But do remember, there is an accuracy bonus for standing still. So try to stand still if you can. A general rule though is, if your enemy is moving, you probably should be too. Make sure you check out my How to Win Gunfights guide for more on that. And that is all for today guys. What do you think of my list? They are a top 10, uh, but they are all important. Um, I definitely think number one will help out everybody. You know, that's something that you know, you'll see instant improvements in your game if you take that into account. You know, I chose these because I think if these are avoided or improved upon, they'll greatly improve your own gameplay and enjoyment of the game. So that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later.